Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and another batch of WWE 2K20 news, as today we have news on none other than Hulk Hogan's return to the 2K series. Now, this piece of news comes from PW Insider, who have confirmed that Hulk Hogan was filming content for the upcoming WWE 2K20 video game, as Hogan was in the Connecticut area over the weekend, near the site of Sunday's Money in the Bank pay-per-view. As for what he was recording, we don't know, however, it's widely speculated that the recording was for some kind of promotional trailer, potentially one that will see Hulk Hogan revealed as this year's pre-order bonus. Now, the last time we've seen Hogan make an appearance in the series was back in WWE 2K15, where he was actually the focus of the Collector's Edition, which was branded the WWE 2K15 Hulkamania Edition. That came with a whole host of Hogan content, including an exclusive Funko Pop, a piece of ring mat from his appearance on Monday Night Raw, a signed art card, and two DLC versions of Hogan featuring his NWO and red and yellow attires. Because of Hogan being the focus of the Collector's Edition as recently as 2015, then one could effectively rule out that he'll be the sole focus of this year's Collector's Edition, especially following the news that were reported last week, which seen Kurt Angle leak that he was signing 10,000 2K branded art cards, as that appeared to confirm that he'll be one of the main focuses of this year's edition, potentially alongside Edge, who also indicated that he too was signing cards. Speaking of Angle, he actually posted an update video on his Instagram account over the weekend in which he reiterated that he has 10,000 cards to sign and has spent a total of 10 hours so far with 3,000 cards left to sign. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. So with Angle and Edge both being Hall of Famers, and 2K potentially going with a Hall of Fame edition, then Hogan's recording could still be linked to the Collector's Edition if it is indeed themed around the Hall of Fame, as it could be a trailer featuring various Hall of Famers. Moving on, and one interesting piece of news that I also want to bring up actually comes in regards to the aforementioned WWE 2K15, as myself and other users on Xbox One recently noticed this update appear in the list of automatic updates, which is for the Ultimate Warrior 2K Showcase DLC, which incidentally also includes a new model of Hulk Hogan. This DLC was previously removed from the Microsoft Store following the backlash around Hogan and the racism allegations that seen him removed from the WWE Hall of Fame. Now, I did look into the DLC, and it appears that it was reinstated shortly after it was removed, therefore the fact that it suddenly appeared in updates wasn't just the fact that it had once again been made available, it appears as though there was some kind of update to the DLC, however, as of right now, I've yet to see what the change was, and after reaching out to 2K for confirmation, they weren't able to give me any information on what the update was for. The one thing I will say though is that it's a big coincidence to say the DLC featuring Hogan receive an update in the same week that he's seen filming for the new game, therefore this could be some kind of indication that Hogan is indeed making a return to the series in 2K20. So there you go guys, it's not much to go on at present, but it does look as though we'll be seeing the Hulkster make his return to the virtual ring in 2K20, which I know there's still a lot of people out there that are done with Hogan, but if you're talking about Hall of Famers, it's hard not to mention him, and he's definitely someone that I personally would love to see included, especially when you've got the likes of Hall and Nash in there, along with the NWO Trons, as you can't really have the NWO without a certain Hollywood Hulk Hogan. So that is my take on things, but let me know what you think of this news in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with all the latest WWE 2K20 news. Until next time though, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.